Okay, hello there booktube, Aaron here, hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be doing a tag, I'm going to be doing the booktube numbers tag, uh, created by Jim from Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. I think I did that the right way around, it might be Jim Books Reading and Stuff. But um, anyway, I, I was tagged in this by Alan from um, Big Hard Books and Classics, so very much for the tag there, Alan. And um, yeah, let's get into it. There are 10 fonts here, at least 10 I have written down. Um, so yeah, let's go in. Number one, what was your first booktube video? My first booktube video was basically just a Friday reads. Um, but I think since it was the f first video I'd done, I'd also just went through maybe, I don't know whether it was five or 10 books I'd read, um, you know, sort of in the weeks or a couple of months leading up to making the video. Um, just to kind of give a taste of what my reading was like. Um, and it was, it was really fun actually. It was, yeah, it was, it's still actually one of my favorite video making experiences, even though I was really scared. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I'm not sure what the differences will be between now and then. Um, I'm maybe slightly more comfortable with making videos, although I'm not as, I'm probably not as comfortable as I thought I would be so far into making them, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm still just here talking about books, um, so maybe not that much has changed. Uh, number two, how many books are you currently reading? Um, I am currently reading seven books. It's I, I just go through these periods every now and then when, when I, I just want to read everything all at once. Um, but you'll see that quite a lot of these are books I'm really just sort of dipping in and out of, and I'll probably be you know, reading for quite a while. Um, but yeah, that's that's all that's all fine. Um, so the, the first one here is uh, some plays by Anton Chekhov, um, and I'm really just reading like a play a month or something like that. Um, so I'll, I'll just be slowly making my way through that. Um, and then very similar actually, uh, we have some uh, of um, Borges' collected fictions, and I'm I'm coming up to sort of a break, you know, sort of into a different section. Um, so probably at that break I'll pause my reading of Borges and just sort of pick something else up for my short story fix um, just for variety. Uh, then we have um, David Jones, the Anathemata, I want to say. Um, it was, he, in the preface to this he, go, he goes through the, the pronunciation and it's, it's not pronounced quite how you'd want to pronounce it. Um, but um, yeah, it's a really fascinating so far, even though I've only really read the premise, I've not got very far into this poem. It's a sort of long, a long poem, I suppose sort of akin to maybe The, the Wasteland or um, pr probably a little closer to uh, Ezra Pound's Cantos, uh, but a lot shorter. <laughs> um, um, but he was really a visual artist, David Jones, um, so his, his approach to, to writing was um, always quite fun. And I think he he sees himself as a or he saw himself as like a just maker of things, um, and he, he talks a lot about that in in the preface and um, yeah what it means to just make something you know whether you're a painter or you're just cooking a meal, um, he doesn't see much of a distinction between those two things which is quite cool, and um, yeah I'll probably talk about that later down the line, and uh, then we've got Byzantium. The Surprising Life of a Medieval Empire by Judith Heron. Um, you could argue that I'm not really reading this at the moment. I've, I've not put, picked it up for quite some time. Um, but it's still in the back of my head and I, I still want to finish it <laughs> at some point. Um, we've got W.S. Graham's New Collected Poems. Um, so um, yeah, this is just a great little dipping in and out kind of thing when I want something different, a change of pace. I've been reading Egil's Saga in the Saga of Icelanders as part of Saga Long um, so I'm not going to be reading the whole of this thing um, but um, just, a little, just a little chunk um, in there and then the main thing that's taking up my time is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy um, and I'm pretty much yeah like 60% through this was my mammoth for March and I suspect I'll still be reading it through April maybe into the beginning of May we I don't know. Um, but there we go, there are my seven books. Number three, what were the top three books you read last year? Uh, so my top three, 
Uh, well, in at number three was Oscar and Lucinda by Peter Carey. Uh, just really lovely writing. Um, and yeah, just a, just a depth to it that I wasn't expecting and I really loved. There's The Invention of Moreau by Aldolfo, Aldolfo Brioi Casares, um, which was, yeah, sort of, a, it's an interesting, slightly mind-bending, um, weird uh, novella. Um, it's, yeah, I, I think I've, talk, I've talked about it a lot, sort of towards the end of last year. Um, but yeah, it just sort of blew my mind a bit. <laughs> um, and then I, I reread The Hobbit last year as well. Um, and it was just such fun to be back in it. So that was my number one. Um, just, uh, I suppose nostalgia was fueling, fueling a lot of what I was thinking about this when I was rereading it and just after I finished it. Um, but um, yeah, it really was a joy to reread it. So that was yeah, why it's there. And number one, so there you go, they're the top three from last year. Uh, number four, how many books did you read last year? I read 61 books. Which, um, yeah, it was actually more than I'd read the year before. I think by booktube standards, that's not, you know, <laughs> it's not tons. But, you know, for, for Aaron standards, that's very, very good. And I'm very happy with that. Um, number five, how many books have you rated five star this year? Um, I've uh, only rated two books five star so far. Ooh, that, that rhymes. Um, so there was the, the Fellowship of the Ring. By Gerald Tolkien, um, which again was a reread, um, and in memory of memory, which I was reading for the Booktube Prize, and was um, my favourite book that I read for the Booktube Prize, even though very sadly it didn't go to the Booktube. Oh well. Number six. Um, do you have a reading target for this year, and are you on track? So yep, yeah, I always set my reading target as fifty books. Um, normally on, on Goodreads and I am definitely on track in fact um, I also use Storygraph as well um, just because if I want to look at pie charts and things my reading is all there um, and Storygraph is telling me that I'm four books ahead um, of my um, reading progress the, this year so that's pretty cool so I'm not only on track I'm ahead um, so um, yeah I'll probably match last year's reading by the looks of things Number seven, how many pages uh, is the book that you're reading? Uh, so I'll go with War and Peace, that's the sort of the main one that I'm reading. And my edition, if you're not including all the notes, if you're just ending it at the very last appendix, is uh, 1,224 pages. If you want to include the notes, it's uh, about 70 pages longer, I think. It is one, uh, yeah, one thousand two hundred. Oh no, one thousand two hundred and seventy-three pages. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just a little book. Um, then number eight is how long are your videos? Um, probably on average they are maybe fifteen to twenty minutes long. I I'd probably like to keep them fifteen minutes or less, more around the ten minute mark. Maybe just shy of. 10 minutes and um, I, I don't like rambling on too much um, but for some reason I keep doing it <laughs> I don't even say it seemed to say that much but I just seem to take a long time to say it <laughs> um, and then let's see where are we up to uh, number nine do you have a favorite number my favorite number is five and then number ten do you have a book on your shelves with a number and a title or cover um, and yeah, I picked a few and they're all kind of obvious ones. I, I, I was hoping I'd find something a bit different. There's Three Men in a Boat there. There is 1984 by George Orwell. Um, and so they're both ones I've read. Um, and then one I haven't read yet is 39 Steps by John Dupin. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else there. One moment. There's the 77 Dream Songs by John Berryman. And there's this poetry anthology actually, Poetry 1900 to 2000, 100 Poets from Wales. Um, so there we go, some different ones that aren't quite as stereotypical I suppose. 
And there we go, that's the end of the tag. And so um, I'm going to be tagging um, well, the usual cop out. Um, if you haven't done this tag already, feel free to do so. Um, but I'm also going to tag anyone who has already been tagged and hasn't done it yet. Um, I'm just going to be that little whisper in your ear, just, just reminding you this, you know, this tag is here. You don't have to rush, it's just waiting. And it'll be ready for you when, when it's the right time. So I'm just going to say that, leave that there for you. Um, and I think that's that for, yeah, that's that for today. So I hope you're doing well and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>